This is Forge for Speed. In this video, I will show you how to rectify a timing belt walking problem as you can see here where the belt wants to slip off the pulley. Here it wants to slip off the outer side of the pulley but it can also want to move to the inner side. Before we start, please consider to subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications when a new video is uploaded. Firstly, this problem is caused by misalignment of pulleys. It could be the camshaft pulley, tensioner bearing or crank pulley. Here is how to diagnose the problem. Use a straight edge ruler and place it across the face of two pulleys. What you want to pay attention to is the contact points on the ruler and the pulley. If it is straight, the ruler should be touching the face of the pulley without any gaps. Here is an example on how to perform the alignment check. In my case, the pulleys were aligned properly. Next was to check the tensioner bearing. I flexed it manually and it showed a bit more play than normal. I proceeded to change it with a new bearing, however that did not solve the problem. Since it is a single bearing, I was not able to measure the alignment without a reference. So what I did next was to inspect the mating surface on the engine and I noticed it was worn out. I suspected that could be the issue as misalignment can happen with just a very small deflection in the pulley. So what I did is to use a carbonated drink tin can to make it shim as it was thin enough to sit in between the tensioner bearing and the engine block. Next, I used double-sided tape to stick the shim over the scratch surface on the engine side before putting on the tensioner bearing. I only shim the bottom part as the belt is walking towards the outer side of the pulley. Here you can see the results of placing the shim at the tensioner bearing. The belt is sitting perfectly on the pulley without any more walking. 